Hello snowflakes and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this, this and this beautiful design on the set that I did on a client a few months back. As per usual, I'm going to put all of the products on also the colors I'm using onto the screen for you to see and also they're listed below in the info box in case you were wondering. Yep. Here I'm simply putting a medium to large bead on the lower part of the nail and blending, blend, blending, blending it upwards for a nice fade. Jesus Christ! Um, yeah, I just left that in my voiceover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. And I'm going to continue doing that. Okay, let's get back to business, shall we? Um, as soon as you allowed the color some time to set, I am going in with this cover powder from Glitterbells and just creating a fade. Yeah, that's that's all that I'm doing. It's not not that tricky and it's super easy. I'm just placing my bead. Um, here I'm placing another bead. <laughs> I'm putting it where I want it and I'm feathering it downwards or upwards to ombre those two together. Yep, that's it. Mm -hmm. Sort of like a baby woman if you like. And everywhere where you feel like you need a tiny bit more coverage, just pick up another tiny bead and place it and fade it into the rest of the nail. And now for the part you've all been waiting for. The sparkles! <laughs> Here I'm going in with Glitter Balls Pluto and just placing it on the nail in a glitter S or glitter swoop or glitter trail or whatever you like to call it. Um, notice that I'm picking up only the tinier sparkles and the medium stars from Pluto at first and I'm going to place those where I think they look best, like more in the middle and a tiny bit less on the upper and downer part and I'm going in with those really large stars at the end and I'm trying to place them kind of in the center um, because if you place them right on the edge of the nail you might file them off later and we don't want that no we don't want that so I'm placing them kind of in the center and I would recommend doing this with all your premixed chunkier glitters It's already time to encapsulate our first of three designs and here you see me going in with a very large bead of clear to encapsulate this nail and as I've said earlier you really want to make sure to securely encapsulate those huge stars because otherwise you're going to file them off or into them or file them away. I don't know like like a tiny edge and you don't want that because that doesn't look nice so definitely take your time encapsulating them and if you feel like a tiny corner of the star is like poking out just get another bit of clear and encapsulate it like I'm doing here and then file your design into shape Here we have it again, freshly encapsulated chunky glitter. <sighs> Do I need to say any more? I mean, look at it. It looks like out of a dream, out of a fairy tale. It looks magical, if you ask me. I can't wait for you to see the finished design. So with this one being encapsulated, we can move on to our second design. The second design is going to be a marble design because we all love marble, don't we? Well, at least I do. So I'm starting off as per usual with picking up several different beads of my brush and getting this cuticle area to look neat before I go in with several different colors, place them all onto the nail 
and with the last bead I have on my brush, I'm just swirling it around and create a marbling. There isn't really that much to say other than try to get your beads in the right ratio without losing control of your product. Try to get used to the movement you're doing with your brush and just just go with the flow. <laughs> That's what it is really. Also, don't get discouraged when the marble technique doesn't work out for you in your first few tries. You should have seen my first demo tips where I've tried the technique. Let's just say they weren't cute, okay? Just keep my word for it. Um, it's just down to practice, that's all. When you're happy with how your marble design turned out and you allowed it some time to set, you can go over to the fun part, which is, of course, the glitter. I mean, what did you thought I was going to say? I mean, obviously it's glitter, come on. As per usual, I am just placing it where I think it looks nice. There isn't that much thought to it, to be honest. Um, Remember to place your bigger stars more in the center of the nail so you won't file it off as I explained earlier. And yeah, that's really what I've been doing here. Not that much to it. And here comes the huge star. You can go ahead and start encapsulating your nail as soon as the stars won't move and adhere to the nail. Um, I wouldn't recommend going in with encapsulation right away because otherwise you might accidentally drag your stars across your nail and they won't be placed where you wanted them to be placed, if that makes sense. The only special thing I'm doing here is not only encapsulating using clear, but I'm also encapsulating using some of the Glitter Belt Soft White. Um, I just think for some designs it really gives that special something with encapsulating with not just clear, but also soft white. It just gives that milky hue to it and makes it a little bit more interesting. Obviously, totally up to your personal preference, you just could go in with clear and that would be lovely too, but I like to, I don't know, spice things up sometimes. By the way, have you ever tried um, encapsulating with another color than clear, maybe soft white or a semi-transparent pink or something to give your design, I don't know, something special? Let me know in the comments down below, I would love to know. As soon as you're done encapsulating, this concludes our second design and we can move over to our third and final design of the day. Are you ready? For our third and final design, we are starting off very simple by just laying down a nice base of Peachy Belt Soft onto the cuticle area and pulling this down towards the nail and fading it out. Again, sort of like a baby boomer. How far down you pull your cover pink is of course entirely up to you. You can go even shorter than I did or you can pull it down even further than I did right here. Totally personal preference. Allow your cover pink some time to set before you go in with your next color, which is Angel Wings. And I'm just applying it on the lower part of the nail and fading it upwards. 
Same rules apply for the sparkle. If you like less, then just use less. And if you like even more sparkle than I did right here, just go in and apply more of angel wings. The final part of this design is concluded when you've applied buckets full of Pluto onto the nail and faded it upwards. I mean, seriously, go wild with those stars and smash them on there. I know, I know, I might sound like a broken record, but remember what I've been telling you about the placement of the huge stars, not the tiny ones right here, the ones I am applying in a second. Learn from my mistakes, because believe me, I've learned it the hard way with the placement and the fighting. And yeah, you can imagine what happened then. Here they come. Oh, and also another good tip, I think, is when you're working with those very chunky premix glitters, make sure to give your pot a good shake before starting to use them, because otherwise you might not be able to find those larger stars in your pot because they all floated to the bottom of the pot. And yeah, that can be a little bit tricky. So definitely shake those before you start using them. Same as before, as soon as everything turned matte, you can go ahead and encapsulate your design in clear. I know, I know, I said it before, but I'm going to remind you just one more time to take your extra time to encapsulate those stars so you don't file into them. When you're happy with your encapsulation, you can go ahead and file and buff those nails like I did here. And you guys, I really like the matte. Don't they just look super nice matte? Okay, we're going to top coat them. But remember, they look pretty dang good when they are matte as well. But I have to say, they look so stunning when they're glossy as well. Oh, I can't decide which one I like better. What do you think? Do you prefer them glossy or matte? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Almost done top coating our second design. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Are you ready for the final reveal? Here they are, our three starry, night-inspired, sparkly, bridal, glittery star set, which we are done today. Oh, I think they're very pretty. What do you think? Which one do you like best? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you choose to recreate these, definitely tag me on social media so I can see them. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely give me a like, share and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, see you next time, you guys. Bye.